scanning accessible through using off-the-shelf hardware with our proprietary software, like special sauce, which is on the cloud. And unlike other 3D scanning technologies, what we do is, or unlike other 3D scanning technologies which um, use desktop software that you have to download or use a webcam or phone, for example, uh, we manage to get both quality and this ease of use that comes with the phone um, through our cloud-based platform software. And that means that you can use it anywhere and everywhere. And that's really necessary for 3D scanning because 3D scans can be used in so many places. For example, in augmented reality and gaming, uh, whenever you want to measure something, so measuring your waist, your sofa, your kitchen before a renovation. And of course, for 3D printing, where you want something exciting on the computer first to be able to print it out. And what we want to do is to enable all these verticals to have access to their customers through 3D scanning on our online cloud platform. And to do that, we're going to develop one vertical first. Uh, and then from there, we can build this whole cloud platform, so enabling all of these uh, verticals to have access to 3D scanning. And that first market we're going for is the medical foot scanning market. And that's orthotics, insoles, special shoes. Um, that might not seem as an obvious choice, but I'm going to tell you why it's a cool market to go for. Because there's so much pain in this market. <laughs> so. <laughs> So basically today, um, well, I guess I can first tell you that uh, I actually experienced this pain firsthand. I have really flat feet, which means I need special orthotics. Uh, I have really big feet, which means I can't buy shoes in Swedish stores, which really sucks. So I have to buy them online and then throw half away because they don't fit. Um, and lastly, I play basketball, which means that, uh, you know, it's a lot of pressure on the, on the knees and feet. So I really need good shoes, good orthotics. Um, but the problem is these are really expensive, they're hard to get, it takes a couple weeks. Uh, and uh, it's even worse if you're in a rural area or you, know, you have more, even you know, worse medical issues than just flat feet. Um, so what's the barrier here? The barrier is that um, the technology, the 3D scanning um, machines right now are really expensive. Uh, there are also analog methods, uh, but every, all of these require a lot of skill, um, a lot of time, or, you know, really expensive software. Um, or sorry, really expensive hardware. Um, so that's not happening. So it's really hard to treat these patients who've got, you know, for example, uh, heel pain. And this uh, pain is actually growing quickly. Um, the market's projected to be at $5 billion in 2017. And that's mainly driven by, you know, the elder, the aging population, uh, growth in obesity, diabetes, and that's mainly the U.S. Um, and Europe, but also India. There's a huge growing problem with, with diabetes and foot problems. So it's a really big problem which we're coming up to here. Then, whew, what do we do about this? So what we do is we make the scanning much easier as well as really slashing the cost of the hardware you need. Um, by having this standard uh, off-the-shelf hardware with our software, it means that you can reach completely new markets that wouldn't be able to pay for this technology. Um, but also, because of this hardware, so uh, will be available in tablets soon. It's being integrated into cameras as we speak, in, into tablets as we speak, so it's coming out in 2014. It means that everyone will have the hardware you need to do this from home. So each of you could go film around your feet or, and uh, be able to or, you know, get you the exact size of your feet so that you can you know, figure out what shoe size you need, get custom orthotics, tailor-made shoes, all this stuff. So that really opens new markets. It means that everyone can have happy feet. So how does it work? Basically, you film around your foot with a depth camera. For example, uh, the Kinect or Primesense camera. Um, that film goes into the cloud, gets rotated into a 3D model by our brainy algorithms. Um, you get a foot model, which exact measurements of it, so you can get these orthotics and similar. And we've got a simple revenue model where we pay per uh, foot, or you know, we, uh, it's a fee per scan per foot. And it might seem pretty simple, but uh, actually it's taken our team about a year, PhD research, and then a growing team to get this done. I'm almost out of time, so I'm going to be quick. We've got customers and partners. We're already a global company in Australia, Hong Kong, Sweden, Europe. 
So I'm Caroline with Volumental, and I welcome you to join me in this 3D future. Thank you. Questions? So do you make the, or the, the shoes yourself, or what, what, I'm confused about what you actually do, and yeah. what is your favorite? So what we do is, let me see if I can go back to that slide. So we do is that the compression here, um, wait, go have um, yeah. um, uh, uh, the compression here to get it up onto the cloud, and then the stuff to actually make this uh, foot model. Um, we can make that at um, two millimeter accuracy. That's a twelfth of an inch, which is definitely good enough for this market, um, uh, even this you know mission critical medical market. And then from there we can move on into other variables. So we do this cloud platform. We're going for this one market first, and then onwards. And then we're working with a partner who makes the. And then we work with a partner who makes these uh, insoles and shoes and things like that. Alan, please. Who, who do you have to convince to use this? Um, just everyday users like yourself with uh, you know, f foot problems, or do you have to convince doctors? Hmm. That's a good question. So the question was, um, how do we really get this out there? Who no, no, no. Who do you have to convince to okay, use this? Who do we have to convince? Is it just, you know, I got a problem and I'll go and use my Connect and try to do this? or? I go to my doctor's office and he's got an Xbox 360 connect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, so we're really trying to focus on, well, we're going to try to sell it in several uh, parts of the value chain, but with our first um, customer and also pilot project, which we're doing with a big orthotics distributor and manufacturer, it's really then we need to convince. They ship this, hard, this, this uh, you know, the, basically the solution to their, their customers and they sell it to their clients, which are sort of uh, orthotics clinics, um, and that's where you get it. But then in the second stage, the idea is that you should be able to go to Zappos, say, oh, what shoe size do I have? Uh, go to the shoe chart, and then, oh, you can scan. Oh, I have a tablet with this in. Okay, I'll just check what my shoe size is. Um, or, it doesn't change after a while, you know? Like... No, but it's hard with different models, you know? Um, or, um, that's true, it doesn't change, but you know, and also, you know, you can get uh, injuries or if you get diabetes, all this stuff. So your foot does change. I mean, not as much as before your 2025. But. Other questions? Well, what's, what's your what's the business model? What what the what's the price point? And what are you how are you making money? So how are we making money? Uh, this is the stat for you know, So you, we basically get a fee per foot that's scanned right now, which is uh, 25 kroner, which is about four dollars um, um, that is you know so you get two two feet per patient so and then we get actually um, That's good. <laughs> and uh, I've written down there freehand or with third table so you can scan with your just using the camera with um, uh, just freehand but you can also have it on a turn table and uh, the first step will be to have it on the chair table. Would you, would you, would you give this, then, this kinetics box for free, or you assume that they have it? Or? So it's kind of a Gillette razor model, this idea, where we give them free or really cheap, and then make money off all the orthotics that they uh, that are then ordered through the system. But um, there's a small license fee there, and then there'll be a maintenance fee. Um, so a small license fee and maintenance fee for clinic. Uh, but really what we're making, like 99, 95% of the money is in this, this per scan fee. So we're really betting on scanning becoming much bigger. Okay, we're out of time for your questions. Uh, we'll start with the feedback. Uh, John, you want to start, please? Um, I think for everybody, you know, the presentations were, you know, nicely presented, um, very uh, visual and those things. I think uh, a little more uh, analytics around the business models and, and you know, the, Pricing and, and as I've harped on all of them, you know, what have you learned from? You know, how did you decide that this market was the one to go after? What was the research you did, or the, you know, the, how did the dollars or stack up? So I just would like to see a little bit more of that from this and, and all the presentations. Marlon, please. Um, I think you could have. Well, good job, first of all. Thank you. I think you could have uh, done a better job earlier at helping us understand what exactly the, the software does. Mm -hmm. It seemed like there was a, a bit of confusion around you know, what exactly the solution is. Yep. And, um, and then the other thing is uh, go to market. So um, you know, how
how are you, so uh, the question was raised down there, who do you have to get to, um, you know, to, to, to get interested in this thing and go out and buy it? Um, so first, letting us know pretty clearly who you have to target and, and how you're going to go about getting them interested in, in doing this. Okay, uh, who wants to Carol and I, we met yesterday, so I gave her some of the feedback, but, um, you know, I would be curious to understand sort of what adjacent markets are also reachable. I think, I think if you do a good job executing on this podiatry market, whatever that is called, I think there's a big enough market potential for you to sort of get going. Um, I still don't fully understand all the execution parameters of building a decent business in that, but I would like to see sort of what adjacent markets might be available to you uh, that create the opportunity for a much larger business. I think, I think you're first to market maybe in, in, this, in, in that area, but how, how do you turn this into a platform? That would be something that is worth thinking a lot further. Sarah? Really great feedback here. Sarah? Uh, I don't know. There's a, co there's a company that I know called Ditto that does the same thing in terms of fitting glasses, um, and it might be interesting to just get in touch with them and see what you can learn since it's a similar but adjacent business. With Connect? So. Yeah. Oh, cool. Come on. Okay. You guys ready to vote for the last time? One, two, 